Winter is coming. I know it's hard to believe as the country is frazzled into European Sahel. The sleeping at night has become like extreme SAS training, trying to catch 40 winks in the caldera of an active volcano. But soon, all that heat clamming up your bed sheets will be gone. And you'll be begging for even half a degree of it as your teeth chatter and your shower coughs out a few dribbles of lukewarm water, while windscreen scraping becomes a thing again. Yet, according to the headlines, nobody really has a clue what to do about it. There's the Starmer plan, which involves just paying for everything, plugging the energy price cap at last year's limits, costing the country in the region of 60 billion quid a year. About the same amount as furlough, which arguably helped get us into this mess. Even if it also means helping Rishi to pay to heat his new monster-sized swimming pool currently under construction. That's ridiculous, decries their ever-active, oft-sourced Liz Trust campaign team, who proudly brag about not even giving a single penny in handouts and somehow growing the economy instead, even though factories will be forced to switch off the lights and only makers of thermal underwear will think investing in Britain is a good idea. The Red Wall will indeed turn blue as hypothermia sets in, while even the Blue Bloods' energy bills will enter the red, as three in four Tory voters back Labour's plan. It's enough to make for some very blue headlines in the red tops. But that's OK, because the Prime Minister is off on his hundredth holly bobs of the year, with a shrug of the shoulders and shake of that yellow thatch as he mills around a Greek supermarket near his dad's gaff. It will all be someone else's problem, he must think as he stocks up the pantry for a winter retreat in the comparatively balmy climes of the Aegean coast. Why does the UK seem totally incapable of making a plan for anything longer than two seconds ago? And where even is the government? Does it feel like there is absolutely no sense of urgency, as we're being told the country's on fire, the water's run out, and boiling the kettle will cost 100 quid? That's OK. There's enough hot air from the leadership contest to power Sizewell B for the best part of a year.